How's it going? We're at my brother-in-law's house. That's AK. <laughs> We're putting some lights up and it seemed like too good of an opportunity not to video and go through the process even though I've gone through it many times. It seems like every time we go through it, we come up with something new or somebody learns something new. So here we are. Let's walk through what we're doing. My sister wanted strips. She likes the way the strips look, so we're doing strips. The best way to mount it is with that aluminum channel. So this is the aluminum channel, and then these lights that we're using, these strips, these are the IP65 strips, so they just have like a coating of silicone on the outside. So they will probably eventually kind of discolor and turn yellow, but they should work pretty well. This is Las Vegas. It doesn't rain a lot here, so they're not going to get really wet or get a lot of moisture on them, so they should be pretty good. The biggest problem that we found so far has been trying to get wires from the inside to the outside of the attic. So we put several holes in the side of the house before we finally were able to get some wires through. So we've got wires here. This is going to be a uh, positive, negative, and data that's poked through here and run inside where we will have the power supply and the controller. So we tested everything and I want to show about voltage drop again. You have to check things before you install them. So we put it all out here, turned it all on, made sure it worked before we hung it up on the house. But that brought up a really important point that I could show you about voltage drop. So what we've got connected here is a five volt power supply. I don't know how big it is, but I'm sure it's big, 60 amp power supply. We're actually using a Node MCU and a sacrificial pixel. The Node MCU is connected to plus and minus here. Plus and minus is connected to the power supply here. Then the data wire comes off of the sacrificial pixel goes into this green wire which goes and eventually connects to this connector here right there and then the other end of the plus and minus from here goes all through this wire and comes out here this is going to one spool of LEDs there's 150 LEDs here uh, 16 feet and then it goes to the next spool, just connected the connectors like that. So that goes to the next spool, and then to the next one, and then to the next one. So this is about how many LEDs we're going to need. I think we'll end up cutting a few off the end, but this is about what we need. So when I turn it on, I want to show you what happens because it demonstrates very well when you need to add voltage. So here we go. Okay. So look at these together. This is the first spool, right? Nice and yellow. Then you get here and it's a little more orangish red. And then this is red. And then this is red and really dim, right? If you compare all these, you can see the difference. It's pretty obvious that something's going wrong, right? So what's going wrong is that by the time you get to this spool here, your Voltage is no longer 5 volts. Now you're down somewhere 3 something volts probably, right? So that's why they're dim and that's why the colors aren't right. So to fix that, we're basically going to just take 5 volts again from the beginning and tie it in here. So I know I'm, everybody's going to go crazy because I'm doing this one that's live, but whatever. So if I just twist in 5 volts again here, and oh, look at that. Okay, so basically all I did was just jump five volts from here, the main power that was going to the first strip of LEDs over here, and I just connected it here also. So I won't be able to do this when we actually install it. We'll have to have another long wire like this that'll run to this point, but that's what we're going to do. We're just going to add another pair of wires like this, run them along this strips all along, all along, and then connect them here so that we end up with nice bright lights at the end as well. Now we gotta put them all up. So Zach's arm's gonna get really tired because he's gonna be our tripod all, the whole time. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's go. So we decided we're going to fish a whole separate pair of wires back for our voltage injection. So this is a wire, or what, would you, what do you call this? Just a... Fish tape, I call it fish, fish tape. tape. Fish yeah, tape? Yeah, fish tape. Okay, it's this real sturdy kind of wiry thing. 
We're gonna push it through this hole and then we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna grab it, tie some wires to it and then pull it through. It's a real pain in the butt if, if you can't find this when you get to the other side. But we've done it now already. We've already done the hard part. We're just doing it again. So hopefully it'll be easier this time. <laughs> so here's the hole. These are the wires already going through. We're just gonna take the fish tape and stick it in there. Go way in there. Oh, I see I'm hitting something. There it goes. All right, I'm past it, whatever it was. Now we go to the other side and see what we find. Okay, you see what he's doing over there? He's taking down Christmas lights. You know what he's never gonna do ever again? Put up Take down Christmas lights. Yes. Never ever again. Or put up Christmas lights. Or put them up. This is the last time ever. <laughs> well, I see the wires. That's good. All this high-tech equipment, we got a rake and a two-by-four. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever it takes. Would you go grab that spool of black and red wire that's out there? Yeah, yeah I got it. Okay, All right, now AK is taping the wire to the end of the fish tape. Nothing worse than pulling your fish tape out and pulling the wire off because you didn't tape it well enough. He's actually really good though at making jokes in the videos. I like it. All right, is he out there? Hey, exactly outside. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Darth Vader. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, that was pretty good. Thank you. We heard the Imperial March. I don't know if you can hear it on the recording, but we heard it. <laughs> Here you go. Hey! Good job! Good job, AK! <laughs> Alright, now we got plenty of wire. So now we've got power injection wire that's gonna go that way. And we've got the data wire and the initial power wire that's gonna go this way. We so now it's just mount a whole bunch of that aluminum channel for the next hour or whatever. Yeah. All the way around. We're gonna go all the way around here, Zach. First separating these so that I could do them one at a time. And then I'm actually holding the soldering iron with my arm and then with a little bit of pressure pushing this up against there and then it just pulls off. And I can give up some pressure to the wire. Just pull it off. And again, make sure that our, our lines, our arrows are lined up, right? If we yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. So now we're going to connect the wires from the end of the LEDs to the wires that are coming out from the attic. So if you have heat shrink tubing and you've got it way down here oh, by the edge yeah. and you solder this, yep. the wire is going to get hot and you could heat shrink your heat shrink where you don't want it. It'll melt it right there. So just got to make sure you push it far enough up out of the way that it won't get hot and melt. The last thing you want, the worst possible thing is, come look, come look, it's all up, everything, and then you turn on and it doesn't work. That is, it, it is such a disappointment, <laughs> especially so when it happens like three times. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about?
Off what? to the attic. And now, off to the attic. Like that? Sure. <laughs> okay. So this is our data out from this sacrificial pixel. And this is our green wire that goes out to the lights. So we're just gonna twist these two together. We're gonna connect up the controller to one spot here. So that's just the negative there. Triple check, that's negative. And then positive is these last three over here. So I'm gonna put the positive one here. That will power up the board and send the data, but you'd be running the power for all those lights through these tiny little wires here and they would not look very good. They'd be dim and these wires may eventually even like get really hot and melt. What we're gonna do is just connect these to the extra terminals that you got here. So we're just gonna connect one to this one here for ground. Okay, so one more time. Plus, red, red, red. Minus, black, black, black. Okay. Great. Now, <clears throat> we should be able to plug this in and know if, uh, if it works out there. Okay, home run. We did it. Yeah. So we don't have the power injection, so they're gonna be you know, red and faded down here at the end, but our power injection wires are hanging from over there, so we'll just tie those in when we get over there. I like leaving them on when you hang them so that you know if something goes wrong while you're hanging. So we got it set on a cycle mode. So we got a few different effects running on a every seven second cycle. And then we're just gonna have the kids come out and see, and the moms. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.